So it's time to open mail again. If you sent us something, thank you so much ahead of time. Uh, we really appreciate this. We know we do not take this for granted. It's been really cool to be in our hometown and receive mail because that's not something like we're moving around. We don't we don't even get mail from Amazon family or anybody <laughs> hardly. We're on the road. Uh, so this is this is awesome for us. So first package. First package is from Michael Fields in Kansas. I don't know what this is. Do you have any idea what this is? Mm -mm. Let's find out. <laughs> barbecue sauce. Hensley loves barbecue sauce. Hensley actually gets more gifts than we do, which is fine because we love seeing her get things. Oh, this is cool. A troll puzzle. So, She'll be excited. So thank you, Michael. Ooh. So maybe this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe he saw my uh, cooking in the... <laughs> knew I needed to spice it up a little bit. Oh. What? <laughs> Subway. That's awesome. Thank you. Jack Stack Barbecue, Overland Park, Kansas. Greetings from Kansas. I hope you enjoy the care package. Kansas City is known for its barbecue, and this restaurant is my favorite. Next time you find yourself in the area, please give it a try. Enjoy. Jack Stack Barbecue. Awesome. We are always looking for excuses to eat. And so uh, you have set us up. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. This next package is from David Dutton in Tennessee. Feels like a book. It is a book. Replace your mortgage. How to pay off your home in five to seven years on your current income. If you're wanting to minimize debt, which is a big part of what we do mm -hmm. uh, to get on the road, we highly recommend having a small amount of debt as possible because it reduces risk and there's already enough risk when you're on the road. Mm -hmm. um, so that's very helpful. So I've talked to David some about this and really appreciate you, David, sending this our way. And then this one is from Jay Chen in California. It's like a birthday present. Hensley's with some friends. She probably would have liked to rip this one apart. Uh -huh. When do you start opening these with her here? I don't know why we never think of that. Because a lot of this is for her. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, she'll love it. Wow. It keeps <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Months of outfits. <laughs> it's adorable. So this is from Jackie. I hope you're well and getting ready for your next journey. I've also enjoyed your YouTube videos and newsletters. I started my Xmas shopping for my one and a half year old granddaughter and I couldn't resist these outfits for Hensley. <laughs> oh, that is so kind and sweet and makes us feel so appreciated. And I mean, I've heard people say that, you know, Hensley's like their granddaughter and I just think that that's amazing. That's so sweet that, you know, you guys care for her so much. And I don't know, it's really special. Thank you. Yes. Some stuff I'll show we open that was people sent to us and then some of the stuff is stuff that we bought that's RV related and I want to open and show that as well. Ooh. So this, this is plan B on the spin dryer. Um, the first one, <laughs> what to do here? The first one was a little bit big. This one, I like this size. Same concept as our other spin dryer we showed, except it's a smaller model. I think it might be slightly slower. It's pretty close though. This one's even got a uh, spin timer on it. So you just hmm. set the timer and let it spin. This holds, the loads on this are a lot smaller than our other ones. So you might have to do two or three loads spinning instead of the other one, you could just throw in everything. Mm -hmm. But man, just the size of this, looking at it. It's a big difference. <laughs> this is like a third of the size of the other one we looked at. Which the other one, if you have the room, it holds a lot more clothes and I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a Nina Soft, I believe, mm -hmm. spin dryer. This is also from Laundry Alternative and it's the countertop spin dryer. So we'll give this a whirl. I don't know if we'll do it today or not, but we'll give it a whirl and uh, we'll let you guys know, you know how that works. This box is actually something else. Um, Marissa does not know I bought this, I don't think. Oh no. <laughs> what is it? If I had met Marissa and I lived in a van down by the river. <laughs> this is... Which is exactly what he would be doing. I would, honestly. I would probably be living in a van. I cannot believe I didn't think of this lifestyle, which I never would have met her if I'd done that, so I'm glad <laughs> I didn't. So this is a very high tech contraption for washing clothes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I... Some people could think I buy things just to get a reaction from her. 
So in reality, like the simplest setup for me to wash in clothes, you could seriously just have a five gallon bucket in this. It's a plunger. It looks like a plunger anyways, and it acts like a plunger. And you basically, whoa, sorry. <laughs> it basically, uh, this bottom part, I don't know what this does yet. Oh, I think this goes on here as a cap. Um, it basically just has like suction as you're plunging and it works as a plunger for your clothes. All you need is the bucket, or if you have the right size tub, you can use a tub or a sink or whatever, and you just plunge it and you're good to go. Then you, you know, drain it, move your clothes over to the spin dryer. Uh, this is like crazy small, so she hates it. And we would probably never show that we use this. <laughs> She's pretty confident we would never use it, so. I'm just in shock. <laughs> Well, we wouldn't. It wouldn't double as a toilet plunger. Is the good news. <laughs> but oh, okay. I don't know. This was uh, twenty-five bucks, which is kind of crazy for what it is, I guess. But I couldn't make that, so the other spin dryer I think was eighty, I believe, on that. But the last two things are things that we opened ahead of time. We actually filmed these other two with another opening video, and um, somebody I'm not going to say who who's in charge of the editing, the filming, and managing all the video, lost the video. So he has been reprimanded. Um, <laughs> the video turns up in six months like one of our other ones did. I will do a flashback to it, but I don't think it's gonna turn out this time. So I'm super excited about this package. We had Adrian and Zach contact us and they sell Young Living essential oils. And they wanted to send us some oils based on our needs. They sent us lots of cleaners and it's a cap full in this thing of water. And, and so mean, we've been using this for yeah. what, two or three weeks. Yeah, and, that's um, and it. Russ has loved it. Yeah, loved it's, it. it smells awesome. It's really good stuff. They sent us tons of oils and a diffuser, and I've been really enjoying diffusing oils. It makes the camper smell really good. And what is diffusing oils? Where you can smell it in the air. Some of them are just for aromatherapy, and some like have benefits. Um, like I love diffusing lavender at bedtime. It's just really calming, and it's called Muscles and Myrrh is the name of their company. This is what they're trying to use to get on the road full time. So if you're looking for essential oils, I mean, and you don't have somebody specific to buy it from, why not buy it from, you know, help out somebody who's looking to be an RVer. Mm -hmm. um, so and they're definitely so look sweet. them up. And they're super crazy nice people. Um, yeah. We've met them in person as well, so. This is very generous. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it so much. Mm -hmm. Like I'm in love with these oils. Last but not least, I actually got this two or three weeks ago. Um, it's by a company called NoCo and this is one of those devices I wish I'd bought months ago because there's so many times we could have used this for the different uses that this has. This is the NOCO Genius Boost HD and it's the GB70. So this is the 2000 amp version. I've loved it. So of course the main obvious use would be for jumper cables, but what's really cool about this instead of just regular jumper cables is you don't have to pull your car over, be in a certain position, pop the hoods, all, all that mess. You just go to the one vehicle you need to do, clamp these bad boys on, turn it on, and within five seconds you can jump somebody off. I've already helped two women in the last three weeks with this um, who have needed their vehicles jumped off. So guys, if you're single, that's almost a good enough reason to buy this as <laughs> a start with. But seriously, the Good Samaritan factor for this is great. Um, I wish I had it. And there was a time that we were stranded too in Walmart and our battery died. And we somebody came over with something similar to this and jumped us off. And I was like, man, we've got to get one of those. Yeah, and, on the way we were positioned, and a car couldn't mm -hmm. get to us because of the cars all around us. So that's what's so great about this. Yeah, we were like, this. we have to put this in neutral and push the car out. Yeah. And, um, we didn't have to do any of that. He walked up, jumped us off. And we're like, thank goodness. So this does that for people too. Um, crazy nice to have around. We also could have used this when we were stranded on the side of the road in the rain in our class A and the state trooper ended up giving us flares. I'm not saying this replaces flares, but if you don't have anything else, it does have a strobe option on it, which is really bright and really great too. So as a safety device, it comes in handy for that. And then one of the other main reasons I wish I'd bought this, say for Albuquerque, for instance, when we're boondocking, this has enough juice in it to power up my laptop. Not just power it up, it can recharge my laptop a full charge. And so there were times that we actually turned the generator on, mm -hmm. literally just to charge my one laptop. Um, and so if you've got some devices around and you, you don't want to have a generator on, you know, you need just a little extra juice, you can actually use this. Um, it has a USB port. And it also has an out port that goes into an adapter um, that's a cigarette lighter adapter. 
And so I can plug our inverter that goes into a cigarette lighter and I can power, you know, the laptop or my phones and charge things. Um, it's got a ton of juice, you know, 2000 amps in this thing. Um, and so that's way bigger than like the dinky little chargers you can get that are made for like phone chargers and stuff like that. And it's really small for 2000 amps. Trust me. I mean, this is like a fourth of the size of some of the stuff I was looking at that was 2000 amps. Mm -hmm. So I've been crazy impressed with this. If you're mobile on the road like us, something like this to me is like an essential. You got some presents today from people that care about you. It is so cute. It is so cute. Lunch box. I need a puzzle. You want to do the puzzle? I help you, Mama. I help you. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. are good at tearing it apart. Take it off. <laughs> yeah. Take it off. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Are you riding the cowboy? Yeah. Ready, say. Flowers. What's on this one? A heart. A heart. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. Is it soft? Big part of this adventure has been the people we meet, uh, not just in person, but also online. And it just means so much to know that there's so many people out there who share common interests and just really care about you and care about your journey. And we're just super overwhelmed with just kindness and generosity. And we feel just so blessed and it's been great like getting to meet you guys and meet new people bye tell them bye bye say see you later say, see you see later, later Kara. Right, we're gonna call it a night get to uh cleaning up the puzzle and uh <laughs> hanging out with hensley but uh we'll uh, catch you guys later